Hi, my name is Sean. I'm in sales and tech support here at PSP Products, and this is the first of a series of videos to introduce you to some of our products. This is the KGC-1. The KGC allows any 240 volt sensing transfer switch like Generac or Briggs to be installed with a two wire start generator. When installed in a Generac transfer switch, the KGC will sense the loss of utility power Close the generator start terminals to start the generator. Check for 120 volts generator power to confirm the generator is started. And then close terminal 23 to ground to transfer the ATS. You'll notice that the KGC is installed on the wall next to the transfer switch. This is not typical. You would usually install the KGC at either the bottom or the top of the transfer switch. We've mounted it outside just for the purposes of shooting this video. Um, if you found that there was not room to install it in the transfer switch, you could install it in a junction box that you can acquire from your local supply house. The KGC-1 will work with the Generac RTS, RXS, or GenReady ATS, but you must identify the appropriate terminals. There are seven connections between the ATS and the KGC-1. Terminals N1 and N2 provide 240 volt utility sensing. Terminals 194, 23, and 0 make up the transfer circuit. The final two terminals between the generator and KGC are neutral and generator in. With these terminals, the KGC can confirm the generator has started before transferring the ATS. In addition to these seven connections between the ATS and KGC, four connections are required between the KGC and the generator. The two gen start terminals are where you will connect the start wires from your generator. The terminals labeled positive 12 volt DC and negative 12 volt DC will connect to the generator battery to power the KGC-1. Is the KGC-1 utility LED off when in normal standby mode? If so, check terminals N1 and N2. Using your voltmeter, verify 120 volts AC from terminal N1 to ground, 120 volts AC from terminal N2 to ground, and 240 volts AC across terminals N1 and N2. If no voltage is found on terminals N1 and N2, verify fuses N1 and N2 in the Generac ATS are good. If the fuses are good, verify the service disconnect is on. If voltage is present at terminals N1 and N2, but the utility LED is still off, verify 12 volts DC power supply to the KGC-1. Using your multimeter, check voltage from the 12 volt DC positive terminal on the KGC to ground. If you measure below 10 volts DC, battery source should be verified or replaced. If the 12 volt DC power source is determined to be good and N1 and N2 have 240 volts AC but the utility LED is still off, you must call tech support. Does the generator fail to start within 5 seconds once utility source is off? If not, remove the gen start wires from the KGC and check continuity between the gen start contacts on the KGC-1. If there is no continuity, then the relay is open and you must call tech support. If the relay is closed, verify 12 volt DC power source to ensure the battery can start the generator. If you measure below 10 volts DC, then the battery source should be verified and replaced. If the battery source is good, verify if the generator starts without the KGC-1. With the generator and automatic, remove the two gen start wires and short them together. Does the generator start? If not, troubleshoot the generator start circuit as you may have the wrong wires. If the ATS does not transfer after the generator has started, or if the generator LED on the KGC is not on after the generator has started, verify 120 volt AC power on generator in and verify neutral connection is good. 
If the limit switch referred to on the KGC install sheet is not available, you can install an inline fuse and connect generator in to terminal E1 in the ATS. This is where your generator feed connects in the transfer switch. Immediately upon utility return, all three LEDs will be on, utility, transfer, and generator. After transfer back to utility, the transfer LED will go out. After the generator cooldown timer has expired, the generator will turn off and the gen LED will go out. At that point, only the utility LED will remain.